Go ahead, Michael. Thanks, Ben. Uh, a couple questions on what happened in Texas over the Sure. Um, how is it that an individual who was known to MI5 in Britain, uh, who was on a watch list as of 2020, ended up in a synagogue in Texas? How, how did that happen? Oh, well, our understanding, and obviously we're still looking into this, is that um, he was checked against U.S. government databases multiple times prior to entering the country, and the U.S. government did not have any derogatory information about the individual in our systems at the time of entry. We're certainly looking back, as I referenced, at what occurred to learn every possible lesson we can to prevent attacks like this in the future. Uh, beyond that, I'd certainly refer you to the Department of Homeland Security. Obviously, the President referred to the incident as, a, as an act of terror. What is the significance of referring to the individual as a terrorist or referring to the incident as a terrorist incident? I think, and I talked to the president about this um, that day as well, I think there's no question that uh, when somebody uh, goes into a, a house of worship um, and threatens uh, and holds hostage individuals who are there, uh, that that is an act of terror. That is terrorism. That is why he called it that, because we don't need to be, uh, because it's very clear it's what it is. Go ahead.